So thank you very much, everyone. Um, welcome to another data analytics class. In today's class, we want to um, look at the use of the cell for simple calculation, the cells, how we can enter data and make simple arithmetic calculation for elementary learners. In the same vein, we are also going to use an AI that can help us be able to do data analytics and help our data analytics knowledge. For the sake of our, our new students who are just learning uh, data analytics. So in the previous classes, I've explained what we mean by cell name. I said in Microsoft Excel, that is also being used in uh, Google Sheets that we have what we call a cell name. We have what we call rows and columns. When you have an Excel sheet, an Excel sheet is like a book. An Excel document is like a book. You can have several sheets. So first of all, before I go ahead, I will explain to you how you can have multiple sheets and have different names on those sheets. Now, the default sheet that you open is usually called sheet one. Like I have on the sheet document now, whether you open it on Google Sheet or you open it on Excel, it is called sheet one. If you click on it, there's a drop down beside it. I can duplicate it or I can add more sheets. Now, this plus sign here is allowing me to add a sheet. If I click on it, then I will be able to add a sheet. I can rename the sheet. Once I double click on it, I can rename the sheet and give it the name I want. Let's say I want this one to carry class one. And then once I go into the sheet again, then it's going to allow that name to be saved. The second thing is that I can actually have what we call another sheet. Maybe I call it class two that way. And then, or maybe when I enter the, um, once you press the enter key, then you will be able to have um, the sheet. If you have gotten how to uh, create sheets on Excel, can you just say yes, 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 yes in the chat? Let me know that you have gotten it. You now got how to create a sheet. We've been able to achieve, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. So you've been able to achieve it. So if I have a document on sheet one, I can actually duplicate it or I can copy what I have on one to sheet two and all of that. So I also believe that by now you understand rows and column. When you move from top to bottom, those lines, those grid lines, those boxes, the cell from top to bottom are called the rows. Why the ones you have from left to right are called the column. So the ones labeled A, B, C, D in letters, they are the columns. Why the ones labeled one, two, three in number, they are the, those ones are the uh, rows. So you have rows, you have columns. So we have done this when we were talking about tables and uh, I believe it is not new to us again. You can easily do that. Now, in Excel or in data analytics, you need to do arithmetic calculation, simple arithmetic calculation. With this one is not talking about large data now. You're talking about simple arithmetic calculation. And as a student, you want to know how to do simple arithmetic calculation using the Excel sheets. You need to know how you will be able to do that. So I believe that when we were learning in school, the first thing they taught us is addition before you now learn subtraction, before you learn uh, multiplication, before you learn every other thing. So I'm going to give us a simple data and we're going to analyze it together. So I'm going to open the call now, the class now, for us to be able to, so what I want to do, I want to use general data from this class. And then we are going to um, do the calculation right now. So let's assume that we have uh, Mr. Kingsley and Mr. Kingsley has a family of five and we want to do the salary structure or the budget for Mr. Kingsley. So let's say Kingsley family budget for August 2023. And then uh, the Mr. Kingsley earns a salary of 
let's say 395,000, that is the value of the salary. And then we want to have the budget of what Mr. Kingsley is supposed to have. So I'm going to open the call now and allow one person to talk each. So once I call your name, if you want to contribute to this budget planning now, just raise up your hand, I'm going to call you. And then you tell me, make sure you see what other people are, other people are mentioning so that you don't uh, repeat it. So what are some of the things that will be in the budget of Mr. Kingsley in this month of August? What are some of the things that will be in the budget of Mr. Kingsley in this month of August? So, Marvelous, can you unmute yourself? Yes. Marvelous. We have groceries. Sir. You said what? Groceries for the family. Provisions. How much do you think that family will be able to spend on groceries? A family of five. A family of five. Okay, let's say about 30,000, sir. 30,000 Naira. Already we put it that the value is in Naira. Thirty thousand Naira. Thank you. Yes. Who else is raising up his hand? Nobody is raising up hand again. All right. Kemi Sola. Transportation. You say what? Transportation. Transportation. What should the person? What do you think the family will spend on transportation? The current economy would be about fifty thousand. About what? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Thank you. All right. Bamidili Onibani. Kitchen money. You say what? Kitchen money. Kitchen, what is meaning of kitchen money? Do you mean ingredients, soup, steel, whatever? I won't expect the women to talk so much now. Because okay. they... yeah. let me put student pocket money. Children okay. pocket money. Okay. So you do not remember the pocket money for the mother. It's for the children now. For children. children and that one will be 5,000. Children pocket money, 5,000. What do you want to use it to buy? Yeah, 5,000. Do you know how much they sell good more now? As a bit, the mother will prepare for that one. In the grocery of 30,000. Yes, now. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Afolabi Abimbola. Electricity bill. Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing that. Electricity bill. All right. Nobody is talking about savings. You are just talking about spending. Now, wow. How much is electricity bill? Let's say 15,000 naira. 15,000. Family of five. Yes. Depend on their location. All right. Sandra. Sandra. Gas. 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 Okay. Everything is spending. How much is gas? Yes. 12,000. 12,000. 12, Thank you. Busayo Ajibola. Busayo Ajibola. She's not talking. Um, I said clothing. Clothing every month. Clothing is bought every month. Clothing, how much for that month? Yeah. Okay, let's just say for that month, let's just say 10,000 to 15,000. Because they need much. Since they are buying, they will, let's just assume they are buying this month. <laughs> Nobody is talking about accommodation or being you can borrow loan for accommodation. Okay. Oh, we can even use uh, what of the water bill. All right, thank you. Oluko Bakemi. Uh, I'm talking of uh, savings contribution, monthly contribution, 10,000. Savings. 10, contribution, Ajo. Ajo, yes, 10,000. Okay, all right, thank you. 
That's all. Others are not active. Others are not active in the class. My hand is up. My hand is up. I can't see any other hand. Though. My hand is up, Joel Abalan. If your hand is up, talk. Hello, can you hear me, please? If your hand is up, can you talk, sir? Okay, facility, facility maintenance. Facility maintenance, thank you. Like plumbing and fittings, electric fittings and all this. Facility maintenance. Okay. How much? Twenty-five thousand. Facility maintenance. How much? Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. I hope we will not keep this salary before the salary comes. Okay. Utility bills. Utility bills. Is that not part of electricity? Okay. Don't worry. We'll classify it later. Utility bills. The same thing as electricity. Mm -hmm. DSTV subscription. Everything is under utility. DSTV yes. subscription is how much? 5,000. Toiletries. 5,000. You will 5, not pay 000. for fees, Abby. Nobody's remembering. Toiletries. Fees, All the mummies and daddies are here. Nobody has talked about the yam and beans and everything. Toiletries. I guess the yams okay. and beans is other food. Under food. That's how we used to do it. Okay. For 30,000 naira. Electrics can be classified under, under groceries. For a family of five. Okay. What of the external, external assistance? External assistance. Yes, like uh, mm -hmm. family and friends or some other neighbors coming to request for little little assistance here and there. That's so what we call it that one. Donation, charity. Yes. Charity, <laughs> something like that. So, so let's say 12,000. 12,000. But if the person said that uh, somebody has uh, injured himself and they need 60,000, how will you bring it out? Okay. <laughs> So the toilet trees, three thousand. School fees. Out? School fees. So somebody school fees. School fees. Family of five. Oh yeah. One fifty thousand. One family of five. Is it thirty thirty thousand naira they are going for school fees? One fifty. One hundred and fifty. Okay. School fees. One fifty thousand. What's the next? <laughs> Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. They, they are not using vehicle in this house, are they? For Christian sites. There's already transportation, sir. There's already transportation. Christian sites. Yes, sir. Miscellaneous is how much? Miscellaneous is how much? Oh, what is it? Oh, 20, 20,000. 50,000. 50, 50, should be a, a certain percentage. Okay. So. Tights. Tights. What's the tight of this money? We are going to do tight separately. Because tight. Tight 39,000. No, I don't want us to do like that. Let me move tights up. So I want to cut this and paste it here. So this tight is coming up and I will quickly teach you how to do the tighting now. So let's say that the person does not get exactly 39,000 because if somebody has 395,000 Naira, GT Bank or other banks would have removed 15 Naira from it. So bank maintenance, even if you have 100 Naira there, they will still maintain it for you. Maintenance and POS fees, POS charges. So if you have spent uh, let me bring POS charges here. 
spend like uh, one five on that. So, but if the person is not taking exactly 395, let's say 80 cobo and so. So if you want to find the tight, tight is 10% of it. So what we are going to do is that you are going to say equals to, please watch very well. The cell where we are looking at is here. Tight is always 10% and 10% is 0. It's 10% 0. 0.1 or 0. 0.01, everybody. Who is the mathematics person here? 0. 0.1. 0. 0. 0.1. 0.1. So you are going to say equals to 0 0.1 multiplied by, multiply is your star, that's shift 8, multiply by the salary is in D4, multiply by D4. Did you see it? So, and the value is 39,508. You press enter key. Is going to do it for you. Did you see it? I hope you all got it. Yes, sir. That's how to do that. Yes, sir. Right. So now, this same family always uh, pay for pension bill or gratuity deductions from the office. And they remove some percentage of that money. Or let's say they are repaying loan back, loan repayment. Let's say they are paying for every of their salary, they are they are paying back a percentage. Somebody should give me a percent of the loan that they are paying back. Five percent. That's a five percent, So five percent is zero point what? Point five. Zero point five. Zero point five times times what now? <laughs> 0 0.5 times 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Thank you. 0 0.05 times what? Times 3. Times cell D4. Thank you. Times cell D4. That's what you are going to do. And then you enter it. So that's what is going to come up. So now... Are you sure that this is everything this person is to spend that month? So let's say we want to have a total. How do we do the total? Simple. Now, total means you want to add everything that is in cell D7 up to cell D22. That's what you want to do. Everything from cell D7 to cell D22. There are different ways of doing it. You can say equals to, before you do any, any addition, subtraction, or anything that has to do with calculation in Excel, you have to actually, um, you will have to do the um, addition. You have to use equals to sign. So you put equals to, and the thing is already saying, do you want to add everything? Equals to, you say some, Open bracket. D, you start from wherever you are starting from. This one is D7 up to D22. You put column and say D22. You close your bracket and press enter. So this guy that hangs 300 and something, the deficit is what? How do we know the deficit? So this is the total sum of money that they are budgeted to spend in the month. And this is 407.762. Maybe the person will go and do side also. Lest I forget the side side also the website question, that um, you can do. Let me drop the link for you. You can do online jobs on Freebies. Freebies is one of the company that sponsors STEM step. If you notice on the day of the opening ceremony, it was mentioned that Domina Technology is one of these. So you can do online jobs on freebies.com. You can sign up, refer your friends, and uh, make some money there. So if this person has a deficit of what we don't know the deficit. So how do we know deficit? We are going to look at the total budget minus the salary. So you say deficit. 
how do you say deficit? Look at the cell, where the cell is, for salary is in cell D4. And here, you have it in cell D24. So you just say equals to D24 minus what? D4 minus D4, and it will tell you. So the deficit of this person is 12,682. You can put that in red. You can fill it with red so that the person will know that this is how much they need to look for extra in this budget. That is how it's going to look like. So now let's now look at the analysis of this budget and let the person know what he's spending his money for. Now, what percentage of this budget is, is going on food? We'll now look at the analysis or analysis of the budget. Budget analysis. So that the person will be able to plan, know what he's actually using his money for. So now, what you need to do, if you want to do analysis, definitely you will want to look at percentages of what is going on. So let's look at utility. Utility. What are the things that are utility in this budget? Can you mention them? Electricity. Electricity. That's cell D12. Somebody should take note of that. What other DSCV thing? DSCV subscription. DSCV subscription. All right. So let's look at the percentage of what the person is spending. Utility. We want to say, if you want to do that, you will say equals to, you now open bracket. Hmm? You open the bracket. You will say equals to open bracket. You have mentioned electricity. Electricity is in what? D12. D12 plus which other thing is a uh, utility gas D17 D17 D D yes subscription. subscription what other thing is utility what other yes, thing is D13 D13 that's what D13 gas D13. plus D13 what other thing again? That's about all for now. That's, That's all, sir. So you close the bracket. You now divide it by what's the total? The total of the budget is in D24. D24. Divided by D24. You now multiply it by 100. So... That means that the utility that this person is spending is 7.8% of the salary. Do you understand now? We are now getting to know what, what is actually taking your money. So let's talk about food. Food. So what are the things that are in food? Equals to, you open the bracket. Oh, yeah, I mentioned the things that are in food. Groceries. Grocery. Where is grocery? That's D9. Um, that's D9. D9. Yes. Plus, what again? Gas. Gas. We have captured gas. Toiletries. Electrics. What is it? Which cell is it? D18. D18. Plus, what again? Hello. Plus what again? That's all, sir. Children okay. pocket money. Okay, pocket money. That's D what? D11. 11. All right. So you divide it by D24. Your total is in D24. So it has picked D. You must be sure so that you don't make D24. Then you multiply it by 100. So what you have here is food. Food is taking 9.3%. Okay. 
Okay. Look no. at transportation. Transport. What are the things that you can classify as transport? Equals to open bracket. Transport is in what? D10. D10. Is that the only thing? Yes, sir. D10 divided by D24 times 100. Transport is taking 12.2%. The money you cannot use to eat, you are using it on transport. Transportation. Mm -hmm. School fee, talking about family development. You are developing your family. Family development. That is in say what? D20. D20. Equals to open bracket D20 divided by D24. You close the bracket times 100. What is that? 36. The same. So it's only one person that is in this class, so others are not talking. Not only one person. We are, just, we are just following. Hey, we are why should be following now? Why others? <laughs> we don't want there to be crowd, crowd of noises. Hey, but everybody should. That's what will make me to know that you are following me. Charity. Charity is equals to Open bracket. D19. D19. You close your bracket. Divided by, you can open bracket again. 100. D24. Multiply by. 100. 100. So that's just 2%. All right. Have we captured everything in summary? What of no. miscellaneous? No. We did add miscellaneous and no. clothing. Miscellaneous is there. Saving. Savings or savings and loans. Loans, yes. Savings and loans. Savings and loans. Clothing is there too. Clothing is there. Nobody added accommodation. Do we have accommodation in this bill? No. No, accommodation is not there. Or rent. The rent is not here. And we have done ah, the maybe, They are presumed to have maybe they are the not living in the to build the house and maintenance is there. If they are not the land, the facility low. maintenance will not be on them. They are paying loans. They are having savings. So that one should take care of it. And he's even paying loans. And he used the loan to build the house. That's Where is why it's using living facility said. maintenance. Where is this person living? These three ninety-five thousand salary. Where is the person living? Tanke. Uh, this tanke. Is there a job in the lawyer where somebody earns three ninety-five thousand? Apart from no, making... sir. Federal workers. Federal staff. Yes. For how many years? Even a federal and... staff of and... the, of this uh, even level level fourteen. Mm -hmm. Of a federal staff here in Illinois, and you, and you are putting school learn. fees for one fifty. That person will have a child in a private university. Oh. Yes, you are not realistic. Oh. <laughs> uh, you said the family of five, yeah? professor. Mm -hmm. For somebody to have been able to get up to this, professor is just four hundred thousand. Oh. They want income wire. Let's wire. Let's assume that they have three kids. And two of them are graduates already. So they're only sponsoring the last time. It's okay. The ones that are graduates already, they are working in Shell, Abby. That's why they are not collecting money. <laughs> <laughs> so this we can also assume that it's both the wife and husband, like both of them salary combined together. Is that the way they do it? No. <laughs> no. Start talking no, now. sir. I want some people to talk. Two fifty is one hundred and fifty thousand. Yes, they are operating joint accounts. Okay. And they are collecting over fifty thousand. Let's say the person is working at the uh, is to allow credit. 
is okay. So, well, that conversation is okay. So let's move to data analysts mm -hmm. are realists. They are not mm -hmm. emotional people. You don't attach emotion when you are doing data analysis. Mm -hmm. You are realists. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's look at savings and loans. It will teach you some lessons. Loans and savings. So where are the loans and savings? Equals to what? D8. D8. Cell D8. And, and D15. And D15. D15. And D15 divided by D24 times 100. All right. So loan and utility is almost the same thing. So now, this is a very good. So who can tell me? I want two people to tell me what you understand about this analysis, this budget analysis that is very important. Thanks. Yes, anybody you can talk. What do you understand about this analysis that is very important? Nobody understand anything. Uh, which which uh, which of the which which what things are really taking top part of your money in the months? All right, school fees is what is taking more of the money. Bam daily, I don't know whether means or misses or something. I don't know. All right, Miss Dwight. Okay, this budget analysis actually shows that the higher percentage of the budget is going for family development. So that means that particular family is more of charity and some other things. Then also it also shows that most of the expenses, also we can see the aspect of loan. So the amount of money that that family is saving is very meager because we can see that even the saving and loan and majorly saving parts will be less than seven percent so which means the the family is not having certain amount that you can save for future investments that's my comment okay thank you the last person to speak do okay so from what I can understand from the analysis, for a family of five, the percentage spent on food is just 9%. And I don't really think that that is real or possible. It's not realistic. And, I mentioned it earlier. On. Yes, sir. And because there's no way. And even the, okay, most of the money is going into like the family development. And I feel that for somebody who's earning, Three ninety five thousand naira. I'm not sure the person would want to pay about one fifty thousand for just school fees alone. In my opinion, though. All right, but you were not speaking when we were to make a contribution now. Sir, I'm currently in school. I had an exam, so I just came out. I was trying to set so sir. Oh, sorry. Can you analyze the exam for us here? The exam I just did. Yes. It was. It was okay. It was really stressful, though. It was a written exam. It was lengthy. But well, I could man. answer all the questions I needed to answer. So, by God's grace, the results would be nice. All right. So you did not even mention anything about data analysis. You didn't tell us how many questions you answered. How many questions were set? Oh, how many time was six mentioned? questions were given to us. And we, we answered answer in how many four. minutes? Two hours, but we came out after like one hour, 30 minutes. They were in a hurry. Okay. All right. Thank yeah. you. Just wanted to make you relax. As a data analyst, if you are speaking as a layman language, then you are not a data analyst. You must mention data. Like I mentioned, asked her to talk about our exams. She only spoke about the exam. She didn't talk about the time, the duration, how many of you were in the exam hall, how many exams were conducted, and all of that. So I have two papers today. Uh, we have five questions in each of them. We have to spend two hours. Each question, I'm supposed to spend 30 minutes in each of them and all of that. That analysis make, make life easier for you. It makes you to be able to pick and be able to make good projection. So now what we have done here is just to, Joel Afolan, you want to say something? Um.
Thank you very much, sir. Hello, can you hear me? Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Uh, looking at this uh, statistic, I feel that uh, we only focus on school fees as part of the family development, but there is more to it than only the school fees. Let's assume the family. Give us suggestion now. Not, this one is not. Uh, it's not only. We only use sample. No, what I mean, what no, what I mean is that that figure is still is still a very good percentage, because the father and the mother, not only the children, are also expected to further their education development. I think that family may need to take a critical look into the utility, considering that percentage. You know, the percentage may look smaller or lower, yet it, it still needs to be pruned down a bit so as to provide opportunity for the savings and loan. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. So we're going to be rounding off this class in a short while. But I want you to understand something very important. And uh, I want to give this to you as an assignment. You are going to look at five different families. So we can classify this family as an average income earner. Or let's say an average income earner. So you are going to look at five families. Out of the five families, you prepare a budget, a realistic budget, and do this analysis of number one, two high income earners, that is those that are earning in millions. Number one, the transportation, you know if they are using Lexus, even this 50,000 naira can be finished in two days or three days, depending on the location of where the husband or the wife works. Two high income earners, then two medium income earners, and then one low income earners, and then do the budget analysis and then interpret it. Let us know where their family strength lies. Another thing again that I wanted to learn from this is that this analysis will help us to know how we can reduce the budget. Don't forget that this family has a deficit and you must fund the deficits one way or the other. It means you now need to rework this thing and say, okay, this is how this thing is going to look like. But if you collect data of what happens in five months, in 10 months, you should be able to project what's going to happen in the next few months of the family with the inflation rate as a factor. If this family is currently feeding on this in August, and let's say this is a practicable thing in January, and the salary remains the same. And transportation, for example, jump to, because transportation, for example, now if somebody is spending 50K in January, what do you think the person will be spending now? Let me get a response. What do you think the person will be spending now? 200,000. Like 120 to 130. Let's use 120,000. If this person is spending 120,000, you can see, look at what has happened to transport. Can you see? Can you see what has yes, happened? Sir. To yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Now, the same salary, the same salary, tight has not changed, but the same salary, the person is now spending groceries. Because if you say 30,000 naira, 30,000 naira is very, very unrealistic for a family of five. A family of five will conveniently spend nothing less than about 8,000 naira every day if they cook their three square meal. And if you do that, multiply by um, 30 days. What is that? 30 multiplied by eight. What do we have? 40. Eh? 30,000. 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, almost, almost the whole salary. So. What is 30,000 multiplied by 8 to? 240,000. 240,000. That's the realistic thing. So what do you see that is happening? Who is jacking up? And then the person will now begin to look at. The, the thing about this analysis that will give you is that, okay, how can I reduce it? If the person decides to say, okay, oh, we are using two cars. For me to reduce this percentage of 17, we are going to be taking out only our car, only one of the vehicle, or we'll sell the Jeep 
abide to you, Taku, so that you'll be able to manage the fuel. And your budget for fuel now reduced to, let's say, 45,000. Don't forget, you are going to maintain that car. Have you been able to save money or not? Yes. So I mean, this is one of the ways the analysis will show you what are the things you need to do. Before I round off, as I said, promise well, that I'm going to do. So I'm moving to another sheet now. We have an AI on Google Sheets. You can find it on Excel. That can help you to create a model of what you want to do. So let's tell this AI to do something for us. So let's tell this AI to say, plan a budget for a salary Anna of three ninety five thousand naira a month. Let's see what's going to happen to this. I hope all of you are following me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look how the AI will do for us. So the AI is creating it. So we we'll look at what you can create and what the AI can create. Can everybody see what is happening here? Yes. Yes, sir. So the AI has already done this analysis for us. The income, 395,000. Utility. Look at it, income and the budget. And it's giving notes there so that we can know what it means. It's saying the person budgeted 10,000 naira of fuel, but you end up spending 20,000. This includes the cost of public transport and fuel, entertainment, 5,000, savings, 10,000. You can see it's saying savings, 10,000, debt repayment. So now I have been able to explain to you and achieve how you can use AI to create your budget, to manage your budget for the month. Yes, so, I really don't understand this AI, sir. The difference between the income and the budget, sir. The AI produced, we said the income of the person is 395000 That's what the AI is saying. Look at it. Yes, sir. Okay. And it's now saying expenses. You spend 100,000 on expenses. You spend utility, 20,000. Okay. Transportation, uh, 10,000. Food, 5,000. Okay. Entertainment, 5,000. Savings, 5,000. But these are the budget. These are the things you budgeted. Out okay. of 5,000 Naira, you pay two five. Out of a savings okay. of uh, 20,000, you actually save 10,000. Out of savings of uh, 10,000, you save 5,000 Naira. That's what you budgeted. Okay. This is what you spend. Okay. So that is how you can use AI that. to create your family budget. You can also use AI to generate a lot of data. And there are very, very good data you can generate. So as you're watching this video later on YouTube, please make sure you drop your comments. So please, how do we install the AI into the Google Sheet? It comes directly there. Once you are on Google Sheets, the AI will form to you that this is what you should do. And it's going to help you to do that. Okay, thank you. Sir.